Your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your purpose and potential. A very good morning to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to the orientation program for our new batch of first year students. Today is a very special day for our budding learners. Today, these students will become part of a remarkable legacy. They will become part of the great Josephite tradition. St. Joseph's aims at providing holistic education, combining the principles of academic excellence, character formation and social concern. At St. Joseph's, our students will embark on a new journey of learning, inculcating Ignatian values. They will discover themselves and give their dreams the wings to fly. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God. I request our inter-religious prayer team to invoke God's blessings on this ceremonious occasion. The glory of God is humankind fully alive. Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Fully human, fully alive. A new life through a new vision. One thing I've learned is that a big part of being fully alive is paying attention. It's being aware of God's presence around us. Like St. Ignatius believed that we can and should find God in all things. God meets us where we are as humans living and breathing and moving in a tangible world for God's love to become known to us. Where do true health and happiness begin? With positive attitude about ourselves, others and God. The rewarding results will be new self-confidence, healed relationships and heightened sensitivity towards others' feelings and needs. God speaks to us through various ways. We know that intuitively, but to think about it consciously is a powerful form of prayer. Scripture reading from Bhagavad Gita Chapter 9 Verse 2 Knowledge is the king of all wisdom, the king of all that's confidential, the topmost in righteousness, purifying, able to be perceived by direct realization, very joyous to perform and everlasting. Scripture reading from the Holy Quran, Surah al muminun chapter 23 verses 12 to 14. Verily, we have created the human from a quintessence of clay. Then we placed him as a drop in a fixed resting place. We then made the drop into a clot and that into a fetus. We then made bones and clothed the bones with flesh and from that brought forth another creation. So blessed is Allah, the very best of those who create. Reflection These verses reveal what it means to be human. The Quran, however, affirms our humanness and describes four aspects of the human. Our physical creation, our spirit, our natural disposition and our light, all of which combine to make the human a distinctive and special creation. A reading from the Holy Bible Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interest, but also interest of others. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
ಪ್ರಪಂಚವನ್ನು ನಡೆಸುವುದು ದೇವರ ಕೈ ದೇವರ ಕೈಯನ್ನು ನಡೆಸುವುದು ಮನುಷ್ಯರ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಸಂತ ಅಗಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಭಗವಂತ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗಿದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಸಂರಕ್ಷಿಸಿ ಮುನ್ನಡೆಸುವಂತೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸೋಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಧಿಯಾದ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಶೈಕ್ಷಣಿಕ ವರ್ಷವನ್ನ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸುತ್ತಿರುವಾಗ ಹೊಸ ಪಠ್ಯ ವಿಷಯಗಳ ಕಲಿಕೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಮಾನವೀಯ ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನ ಬೆಳೆಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೆಲ್ಲರ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಹೃದಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಕಣ್ಣುಗಳನ್ನ ತೆರೆಯುವಂತೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿಗಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ದಯಾಮಯ ದೇವರೇ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯವರನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರನ್ನು ಹಾಗೂ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕ ವೃಂದದವರನ್ನು ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸಿರಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಯಲ್ಲಿನ ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಶಿಸ್ತು ಸದ್ಗುಣಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪ್ರಜೆಗಳನ್ನಾಗಿ ರೂಪಿಸಲು ಬೇಕಾದ ಶಾಂತಿ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಹಾಗೂ ನಿಮ್ಮ ದಿವ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ಇವರೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನ ತುಂಬಿರಿ ಎಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಮಾತಾ ಪಿತಾ ಕೇಳಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಭು ಮಾತಾ ಪಿತಾ ಆಪ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರತಿರೂಪ ಹೇ हमारे लिए आपके द्वारा दिया हुआ वरदान है आप हमारे छात्रों और संसार के समस्त माता पिताओं की रक्षा करना हम उन सब को आपके श्री चरणों में समर्पित करते हैं कि आप उन्हें स्वस्थ समृद्धि और सहनशीलता से भर दे ताकि वे अपने संतान के भविष्य उज्जवल बना सके आपका अनुग्रह और कृपा दृष्टि निरंतर हम सब पर बने रहे बाढ़ और कोरोना से पीड़ित लोगों के लिए प्रार्थना है प्रभु आज यह संसार दुख और अशांति से भरा है प्राकृतिक विकोप के कारण बाढ़ और सांक्रामिक रोग ने संसार को विचलित कर दिया है आपसे प्रार्थना है कि आप इस बाढ़ और महामारी से पीड़ित कुंठित लोगों की रक्षा करें उनके मन को आत्मविश्वास के साथ शांति प्रदान करें ताकि वे धैर्य से इन समस्याओं का सामना कर सके हे प्रभु आप हमारे लिए आशा किरण हो आपके आशीर्वाद से ही यह संभव है आपकी कृपा सदैव हम सब पर बने रहे are the pioneers in rendering education combined with faith and joy our mission is to make men and women for others josephites are known to be men of character and men of hope to this world we believe that a life lived for others is worthy as it is more meaningful and more fulfilling we invite you all to join us in this journey and may we all strive to live as fully human and fully alive May you have a fruitful year ahead. May all our efforts be directed towards the greater glory of God. May God's eternal grace and love guide us towards excellence. Stay blessed. I thank the inter-religious prayer team for that contemplative prayer. I now request Mr. P.V. Sudarshan from the Department of Chemistry to deliver the welcome address. Good morning and warm welcome to all the participants for this virtual student orientation program. 
I deem it as my pride and privilege to bestow warm regards and pleasant greetings to each one of you. Today, September 16, 2020 is unique for its significance. Firstly, it is observed as Heroes Day in 18 countries to commemorate the birthday, anniversary or any great deed made by the heroes and now at SJPUC, all the first year PUC students will be coronated as Josephites on this special day. Today is also the birthday of Bharatnatna, Sangeet Kalanidhi, revered for a classical notch, popularly known as M.S. Subalakshmi, and above all, to addresses from the headquarters of Society of Jesus, a mathematician, professor of theology, who radiates an infectious smile, Reverend Dr. Father Sunil Ranger S.J., we prefer our salutations from SJPUC and bestow a hearty welcome. We also welcome our diligent, empathetic, principle instilled with a passion to impart Ignatian values, Reverend Father Melvin Lobo SJ, our Vice Principal, Mrs. Renuka Zakaria, who creates opportunities at every possibilities. Success is our tagline. Welcome to you, ma'am. A skillful leader, marches in action, binding force for Team SJPUC. Our Campus Minister, Reverend Father Wilson Kishore Benes SJ. Welcome to you, Father. We also acknowledge the gracious presence of our proud achievers who have scripted new benchmark records and placed SJPUC at Pinnacle. Parents, management and staff of SJPUC, our collaborators and well-wishers, welcome once again to each one of you with warm regards and greetings from SJPUC family. Thank you, sir, for those warm words of welcome. I now request our dedicated and diligent Vice Principal, Mrs. Renuka Zakaria, to introduce our guest speaker of the day. Good morning, everybody. I feel privileged and honored to introduce to you the Chief Guest of the Day, Reverend Dr. Sunil Ranger, SJ. Father Sunil Ranger has been a part of the SJPUC family for over 15 years now. He served this institution as a vice principal in, during the academic year 2003-2004. Respected and admired for his dedication, commitment, intelligence and humility by teachers and students alike, I personally feel he is the apt person to address the young batch of students who are entering into the portals of this institution today. Father Sunil Ranger entered the Society of Jesus, Karnataka province in the year 1992 and was ordained as priest on 27th December 2007. Father Sunil has a MA in philosophy from Loyola College, Chennai. He also has a master's in mathematics from Karnataka University, Darwad both of which he passed with distinction. Father Sunil also went on to pursue his uh, higher studies and uh, finished his licentiate in Sacred Scripture, SSL, from Pontifical Biblical Institute, Rome, in the year 2012. He also was uh, awarded a doctor's degree in the year 2015 the doctor's a doctorate in biblical theology from Pontifical Gregorian University, Rome. Talking about his academic engagements, Father Sunil is presently working as a lecturer in Pontifical Biblical Institute, Rome, uh, since 2016. He is a visiting professor of Karnataka Regional Theological Centre. Anikal, Bangalore, since the year 2012. Uh, Father is also the visiting professor of uh, Rishivana Institute of Inner Silence and Contemplation since the year 2013. And uh, as mentioned earlier, Father served as Vice Principal and Professor of Mathematics uh, in St. Joseph's Pew College from 2003 to 2004. Father has... Uh, written a couple of books and also he has uh, several book reviews to his credit. 
father has been a uh, in relentless pursuit of knowledge and hence has been attending several conferences and lectures more than anything else he is a beautiful human being humorous witty shrewd with a infectious smile and ever approachable father we are indeed privileged to have you here with us today to address a new batch of students over to father sunil now respected principal of st joseph's pre university college reverend father melvin lobo respected vice principals respected members of the teaching faculty and members of the administrative staff and my dear young handsome energetic new students good morning to all of you and a warm welcome to this prestigious josephite family of which i have fond memories when i was part of it some 15 years ago these are strange times crisis times we are living in a strange period the pandemic has not only challenged the economic and social life of our country of our state of our neighborhoods it has also challenged our own very personality our discipline and our interpersonal relationships many dreams seem to have been shattered yet there are several life saving activities and attitudes several of us have become stronger a few vulnerable and still few probably depressed well that was expected but we cannot keep quiet we need to continue our living and motivate others to live their lives woe to the one who says it's impossible and hail to the one who ventures out and says everything is possible you are those who have chosen out chosen to venture out you are those who have chosen to be courageous congratulations st joseph's college has a history of 140 years these 140 years have seen several students entering into and passing out of this college several stalwarts of this country have studied in this institution history makers have walked on the corridors of this institution several sports personalities have been inspired by the ideals of this institution therefore dear students you are not entering into merely a building you are not entering into an edifice neither are you entering into a classroom but you are entering into a place where history is created and future is shaped you will have the opportunity of listening not only to the lectures by your professors but also to the inspiring stories of these tall words this great personalities i am sure you have made a right choice to be part of this institution the motto of this college is the latin fide et labore which is translated by faith and toil by faith and toil this motto is inspired by its patron saint joseph who toiled for his family always keeping his faith intact the person of saint joseph a carpenter by profession and a patron of all laborers should inspire each of us to continue to labor 
to toil, to work, and persevere in faith, faith in God, faith in our professors, and faith in ourselves. This, this institution is run by Jesuits, a religious congregation well known worldwide in the field of education. They believe in a principle called, once again in Latin, magis, which means greater, comparative degree, greater. Not the positive degree, great, because everyone wants to become great. Neither the superlative degree, greatest, because once you become the greatest, you have nothing more to achieve. But the comparative degree, greater, which motivates to do better every day, to achieve newer heights every day, to look for different and more challenging opportunities every day. I wish that each of you inculcates this principle of Maji's, not to be satisfied with the status quo, not to be satisfied with the ordinary things, but always to strive for greater things. Chris Grosser says, opportunities don't happen, you create them. In these two years, of yours in this institution. Do not wait opportunities to happen. You need to create them. There's a saying. Opportunity knocks. Well, if the opportunities do not knock. Build a door. Be the persons creating opportunities. Than persons looking for opportunities or waiting for opportunities. If you keep yourself busy seeking success, you will be successful. But in your quest for success, do not lose sight of values which are taught in this institution. A successful person without human values is like a beautifully decorated wall behind which is a heap of filth. Be persons of value. Be persons of faith. Be persons of worth. The patron of the Jesuits, St. Ignatius, was a passionate person. He found passion in everything he did. Therefore, be passionate about whatever you do, be it studies, sports, extracurricular activities. A person full of passion will never fail. Even if he fails, he will never give up. Be filled with passion, passion for learning, passion for newness, passion for relationships, passion for life. May your academic initiation at St. Joseph's Pre-University College be filled with fun, learning and companionship. May your interaction with the professors be fruitful and insightful. May your friendships grow and be sustained by the same motto, Fide et Labore. I wish you every success as you start the new academic year. May God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for that inspiring message. I'm sure your talk will motivate our students to see every challenge as an opportunity to grow. I now invite our dynamic and ever supportive principal, Reverend Father Melvin Lobo, SJ, to address the audience. Dear students, good morning. I extend a warm welcome to all the newcomers to SJPUC. 
you have joined one of the prestigious institutions in Bengaluru city. For most of you, it is a dream come true. SJPUC is a well-known institution in India and abroad. This is a Jesuit institution managed by the Society of Jesus, the members of which are called Jesuits. The Society of Jesus has been involved in education since it was founded in the 16th century with the aim of training balanced, responsible and competent people and manages thousands of prestigious institutions all over the globe. By now, you must have heard a lot of stories about SJPUC, the innumerable success stories of your seniors. Every year, more than 1,300 students pass out of this institution, stepping out with pride as confident and competent young men. I'm sure you too have come with great expectations. Dear students, if you are responsible and well-focused in life, you will definitely meet your expectations in SJPUC. It all depends on your efforts and your passion for learning. SJPUC will stand by you when you make efforts to come up in life. The SJPUC is committed to building the dreams and aspirations of young people like you. We are committed to prepare you to be men of intellect and men of character. Do not be satisfied with the minimum achievement, achievements. Stretch yourself as much as possible in order to bring out the best in you. Strive for excellence in all that you do. Excellence is the hallmark of every Josephite. Aim at greater heights and make your life meaningful and joyful. You are a teenager. This is the right time to build your dreams. These two years are prime years of your life, hence it is a very precious time. It will never come back to you again. Make the best of the facilities provided to you. Interact with the teachers, counselors, and seek guidance in order to make your journey comfortable. You must also remember SJPUC has a history of 140 years. This includes 20 years after the bifurcation of pre-university studies from the collegiate education. Great men of caliber and character have passed through the portals of this institution. Make a strong resolution on this day to become a true Josephite. The characteristics of a true Josephite is well portrayed in the profile that is printed in your handbook. You are expected to be open for growth in all aspects of human life. We expect you to strengthen your intellect not to be satisfied merely by reading the textbooks, but to develop a curiosity for new knowledge. Be informed about day-to-day -day happenings in our society. Apply intellectual dimension even in ordinary things and be creative and innovative. SJPUC is a miniature India. There are students from all faiths and cultures. We have had students representation from all over the country, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. We have always experienced peaceful coexistence in the campus. They have fostered unity in diversity. We celebrate different cultures in the campus. Our students develop strong, healthy friendships with people of all faiths. In a way, they are free of all prejudices. They develop an open-minded attitude in life. The concluding sentence of the profile says, he walks the extra mile to transcend borders of every sort. Yes, dear Josephites, you are expected to walk the extra mile. However challenging might be the walk, you will walk the extra mile to make this world a better place to live for every human being. When you consider yourself a Josephite, you will indulge only in life-promoting activities and not life-destroying activities. 
a small number of students who are not motivated enough in life will indulge in unhealthy activities that are not helpful for the healthy human growth not helpful in all round development of a human being what i mean is the addictions that our youngsters become slaves to addictions to mobile phones online games substance abuse violent behavior and so on such students if any will be closely followed up and provided all the support needed to come out of such addictions and bad habits and bring about a positive change in their lives but even after several attempts to provide help if they adamantly hold on to such behavior and habits such students will be asked to leave the institution i really mean it dear students nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity sjpuc is a place where lives are made where creativity and talents are celebrated where young men like you are empowered to become fully human persons who strive to make this world a better place especially for the poor and the marginalized i wish you all the best for your new academic year i wish and pray that the entire sjpuc team of this academic year may strive towards achieving human excellence so that we all experience the joy of being fully human and fully alive dear parents and guardians i solicit your kind cooperation during this academic year while forming your ward to be a responsible citizen of this nation let us all work together to build the future of this nation dear teachers and all the staff members of sjpuc you have been so dedicated in educating our young men i wish you one more fruitful year ahead god will reward you with fulfillment and joy in life let our team spirit be strengthened let us all work together for excellent results this year too may god bless our new journey once again i wish all the best to each one of you thank you thank you father for sharing those valuable insights with us the students of st joseph's pu college have made us proud by securing an overall of 97% in the second pu c board exams of march 2020 We now have the toppers: Mohammad Yasir from the Arts Stream, Shreyans Kumar from the Commerce Stream, and Gogul S S Raj from the Science Stream, who will share their success story with us. A very ecstatic greeting to everyone. I, Mohammad Yasir Arfat, graduate of class 2020, as well as the best outgoing Josephite, would like to give you a warm greeting. Hope you all are in the best of your moods. Look back at your last shot at a new beginning. Understand where you stood. Analyze what you didn't, which you could. Embrace the mistakes. Compete with yourself because you are your biggest competitor. Develop the mindset to get better than what you were. Be the best of what you can be, and you'll end up being the best. Leave a mark. You only have one life. Live it to the fullest. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in future. Steve Jobs. Every day you wake up just ask yourselves why you woke up what do you want from the day and every day you go back to sleep analyze your day and see how much you have accomplished in the past 12 to 14 hours document all of this to enhance your brain. life is simple yet complex making things simple is challenging if you want to succeed just ask yourselves why and the answer will determine if you will or the other way around joseph is hard but it's worthwhile given your best shot and you will not be disappointed by the reception here it is by far the best thing that has happened to me recently and i bet you will say the same understand analyze live not to regret make mistakes not to repeat wake up every day with a mindset to succeed stay hungry stay foolish hello i am shans kumar a student of st joseph pre university college i always believe that hard work pays off and i am very happy that it had paid off in my case too Being a topper of this institution is a matter of pride for me. Firstly, I would like to express my gratitude towards Father Principal, Vice Principal Ma'am, Campus Minister, and to all my lovely teachers 
who are an impactful leader and motivated us to strive for success daily. Thanks for setting such a welcoming, welcoming and a positive vibe throughout the campus. The faculty of this college is the faculty whose legacy would be remembered forever. I know I wasn't the most well-behaved student, but thanks to all my teachers who always supported me, motivated me and accepted me as I am. And about my result, I was always consistent toward my studies. At the same time, never compromised enjoying my life. I never piled up things for the last moment, which helped me a lot. And throughout this academic year, I only had one vision in my mind, that is quality matters more than quantity. Thank you. Good morning to everyone present here, respected father principal, vice principal, campus minister, teachers and my dear fellow Josephites. I am Gokul Raj SS and I studied PCM in SJPUC. I would like to say that I had one of the best two years in SJPUC. Though I was quite nervous in the beginning, soon things changed as I made new friends. The first year for me was more about uh, understanding the college atmosphere and trying to blend into the system, while the second year was more fun. I took part in activities like sports and fest like Equinox which is one of the biggest fests. The teachers were very supportive and encouraging for which I am always grateful. So my advice for you guys would be to take the help and guidance from your teachers as they are always there for you. So all the best guys, have a great time in SJPUC. Thank you. Thank you dear students. May you scale greater heights in the years to come. We now have a video presentation giving us a glimpse into all the activities of the academic year at SJPUC.
thank the technical team for that wonderful presentation. I now invite our campus minister and animator of student activities, Reverend Father Wilson Bennis SJ, to give us his message. Good morning. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the Josephite Legacy. Today, as we embark upon a new journey in St. Joseph's, ensure during these two years that this part of your life is worth remembering and relishing always. To make this journey worthwhile, you need to inculcate the Jesuit ideals in your life. I would like to give you three prominent ideals. The first one, Magis. This Latin word Magis means the more, the better or the greater. It is related to a Latin phrase, Ad Maiorem Dei Gloriam, which means for the greater glory of God. This is the motto of the Society of Jesus, who are popularly known as Jesuits. This is the guiding force of Joseph's, ever striving and ever marching towards the greater and the better. There is no place for mediocrity or complacency. To live the Josephite legacy, you need to strive for excellence. Never stop until you reach your goals. Once you reach some goals, make new ones. Make a shift from easy goals to a tougher ones. Remember, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Make good and proper use of all the opportunities, resources to excel in academics as well as in your life. The second one is make life affirming choices. You are the architect of your life. You will be what you think and do today. In Joseph's, we do not speak in words about our achievements, but our actions certainly do. Hence, choose wisely. And our choices must always be life affirming and not life destroying. What are some life affirming choices? Choosing what is right, choosing what is just, what is humane, Choosing to love, to protect, to encourage others. Choosing to be humble, to be obedient, to be disciplined, etc. Third one is men and women for and with others. It could be termed also men and women of conscience, character, competence, compassion and commitment. This sums up that we need to strive to live for others. To make this world a better place for everyone. As you begin your journey at St. Joseph's, imbibe the Josephite legacy and make this world a better place for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for your words of wisdom. The Governor of the Student Council, Mrs. Wahidun Nisa, will now present a report on the extracurricular activities proposed for the year 2020 to 2021 followed by Ms. Sylvia Fernandez, coordinator of the Sadhana team, who will brief us about the counselling services provided at SJPUC. Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you to St. Joseph's University College. Here at St. Joseph's, we believe in the overall development of our students, giving equal importance to academics, sports and extracurricular activities. This we feel is very important during the formative years in a teenager's life. I, Vahidunisa, the Governor of the Student Council, would now like to give you an insight into the planned activities of the year so that our students are creatively involved during this time of pandemic. Firstly, I'd like to draw to your attention the events that we've already organized. We organized e-gala, a cultural extravaganza in the month of May 2020. We also organized Ignatian Week 2020 to celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, our founder father. We hosted events for the second PUC students as a part of Independence Day celebration under the banner The Patriotic Week. We also organized Hindi Divas, career seminars, and we also had a self motivating seminar organized for our students. Now, it is time to introduce to you the 24 clubs and associations ranging from literary to music 
to dance to chemical science to photography to name a few in order to cater to the varied creative talents of our students a quick insight into the host of activities planned for the year by these clubs are as follows retreats youth programs webinars on social mental and physical health talks on interreligious topics hosting competitions like quizzes poster making photography film song singing etc the sjpuc man is also planned and students can participate in the months organized by other institution the official sjpuc man page will provide you with all the details i would like to inform to you all dear students that we could participate in intercollegiate online competition and we have already taken part in transcendence st joseph's boys high school online fest and by frost a commerce fest and we do assure you dear students to pack as much as we can in this academic year which will be useful for your overall development do grab this opportunity and do well stay safe and god bless us all thank you good morning i am silvia fernandes the counselor and coordinator of sadhana the counseling unit of st joseph's free university college sjpuc gives utmost importance to the psychological and emotional well-being of its students sadhana is a team of well experienced approachable and qualified counselors it has five in-house counselors and 12 volunteer counselors who help students explore their innermost potential by providing a safe space to open up and share their thoughts freely students are free to approach counselors whenever they need help sadhana extends its services to parents based on prior appointments counseling creates a safe space to express our thoughts and feelings about any issue that we face in the day to day lives in a professional and confidential setting and helps us embrace ourselves for who we truly are thank you ms wahida and ms silvia our students will certainly find this information quite useful our vice principal mrs renuka zakaria will now make a few important announcements i request our students to kindly make a note of them important announcements that the students have to make note of now these are some important dates here that you need to remember so kindly make note of them today in the afternoon you will be receiving your microsoft teams id the software that we use for conducting online classes is microsoft teams you'll be receiving your personal ids today in your admission portal at the same time you'll also get to know which class and which section you belong to tomorrow and day after that is 17th and 18th at 2 o'clock you will receive training on ms teams how to use ms teams your class teachers and welfare officers will guide you you will have to log in into the software using the microsoft teams id that we have provided or uh, we will be providing you today okay you will also have uh, links to the videos uh, as to how to use this uh, teams how to log in all right you can uh, come prepared at the same time your teachers will be able to guide you on 19th september 2020 that is on saturday at 10 o'clock you will have your classroom orientation on ms teams so you will get to know more about your role as a student uh, in our, in our campus 21st of september 2020 that is on monday you will be beginning your regular classes online classes at present on microsoft teams the classes will be held in the afternoon between 2 and 4 pm and uh, you will have two sessions per day and gradually will increase the number of sessions as you get used to this particular way of uh you know attending classes that is the online classes now regarding your textbooks and notebooks the list of notebooks that you need to maintain uh you know uh, for this academic year is mentioned uh it's given in your online portal you can check that and accordingly you may purchase the books uh textbooks that you need to follow are government prescribed textbooks for ncert syllabus now these books are available elsewhere also but we are the, these books are available even in our bookstore sjpuc bookstore 
if you decide to buy these books in our bookstore, uh, don't just walk into the campus. There's a number mentioned here on the screen. You will have to call up this mobile number and fix an appointment. So once you get your appointment, please do come to the campus and purchase these books. But one thing that is important, you need to follow the standard operating procedure when you walk into the campus uh, for COVID-19. Okay, And uh, these uh, uh, procedures are to keep you safe as well as to uh, keep others safe. So what are these SOPs that you need to follow for COVID-19 when you come to the campus? Uh, you will have to wear on your mask at all times while you're on the campus. Then you also have to bring in your own sanitizer, sanitize your hands as soon as you walk into the campus. And at the same time, you need to maintain the physical distancing norm that is six feet distance from others. Okay, so these are the norms you strictly need to follow when you come to the campus. Regarding uh, document verification, now, all the documents that you have submitted to us are soft copies and online submission was done. Now, we are going to uh, verify these documents, the hard copies or the originals of these documents. So, we will be informing you. Okay, We will provide a particular date and time to you when you will be coming to the campus, visiting the campus and uh, uh, getting these documents verified. You will also have a short interview with your class teacher and welfare officer, the two teachers assigned to your class. Now, what are the uh, documents you need to bring in when you come to the campus? One is the application form. Okay, The application form, the latest one, which is there in your admission portal, you need to take a print out of that. Take a back-to-back -back print so that there's only one uh, sheet that you're going to carry as an application form duly signed by the parent as well as by you. Okay. Apart from this, the provisional marks card that it that is attested by the uh, school authorities with the seal. That is what we need uh, that you need to carry, not the internet uh, uh, copy that you submitted during your uh, admission. Thirdly, your original TC issued by the school. This is the third document that you need to carry. In case you have applied under any of these uh, quotas like uh, 2A, 3A category or category 1 SESTs, then in that case you need to carry your original caste and category certificate also for verification. Then in case you have applied under RC or Christian quota, please do carry the parish priest letter or the pastor's letter which is the original letter with the attestation. Uh, ensure that you follow the standard operating procedures for COVID-19 when you walk into the campus and uh, that is the mask, sanitizer and physical distancing. At the same time, ensure that you have a photocopy of all these documents that you're going to submit to the college authorities for verification. Now, what is the dress code that you need to follow when you come to the campus? Whether you're coming here to purchase your books or whether you're coming here to get your documents verified, kindly ensure that you come in a formal dress that you follow a formal dress code. Okay, this is what is expected of you as a student. At the same time, see that you have a short haircut and clean shaven. There should be no beard of any sort. Okay, so this is these are the three things that you need to keep in mind when you walk into the campus. And when once we begin your offline classes, okay, you, you must come in college uniform. The dress code is mentioned very clearly in your college calendar that you received, a soft copy of which you received after you uh, got admitted into this uh, college. So you need to follow that dress code. So college uniform on from Monday to Saturday, except on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, you're allowed to follow the formal dress code. That is the color dress. Okay. And uh, moving on to uniform and shoes. Uh, now, uniform and shoes will be available on the college campus when you come here to get your documents verified. If you do not find the uniform and shoes of your size, you may order them. You may place an order and uh, by uh, paying the uh, certain amount and uh, that is that you can inquire okay, using the helplines later. So uh, that uh, you can order your uniform and shoes when you come to the campus 
for your document verification. At the same time, you will also be receiving your uh, fee paid receipt. Okay. Uh, if it is available on that particular day, we will be in, uh, issuing it to you. If not, once you begin your offline classes, we will issue this fee paid uh, receipt to you. Okay. I hope I am clear about this. Moving on to change in language and combination. Am I allowed to change the language that I chose and the combination that I chose? There are two things I would like to clarify. Change of language is permitted up to 30th of September 2020. You may let us know in case you are finding the uh, language that you have taken, Canada, Hindi or French, you are finding it difficult and you would like to shift to any other language, definitely you are welcome. You may, but please let us know if uh, we will uh, uh, see that in case there are vacancies, definitely we will shift you to that particular language of your choice. And uh, you may inform your class teacher or subject teacher regarding this during your class and we will uh, definitely help you out in this. But when it comes to change of combination, change of stream, uh, no, strictly no, okay, because all the classes are full uh, and uh, we will not be able to change your combination. If you still insist, I am not, I'm not, I'm finding it very difficult. I ch I've chosen a particular stream, but now I'm finding it difficult. I would like to shift. No, you will have to uh, ca cancel your admission. You will have to leave this campus in that case. Okay, so strictly no change of combination is permitted. Only change of language is permitted till 30th of September. Now the college helplines. In case you have any doubts, anything to clarify, anything to inform, we have two mobile numbers mentioned over here. You may contact any of these uh, numbers. These are the official numbers that you may contact to get information or to inf of about the college or to inform anything from your side okay at the same time we would also like to keep uh, in touch with the parents we have, we would like to keep uh, uh, on a regular to keep in touch with the parents on a regular basis because once you start attending your classes we need to inform your parents about uh, uh, your attendance or if they would like to contact us to follow up definitely we would like to help you out in that so a link will be uh, sent to the admission portal uh, and uh, the parents are supposed to provide their WhatsApp number there uh, uh, to join the WhatsApp group. Okay, this will be class wise group and the subject teachers as well as the class teacher and welfare officers will also be present in this group as members and uh, uh, so that we have a close network of teachers and parents uh, to help uh, the students grow. Okay, not only in academics, but as human persons. Okay, better human persons. All right, thank you and all the best. Thank you, ma'am, for your detailed instructions. I am sure all of you are eager to know what St. Joseph's is like. So without further ado, let us give you a virtual tour of the SJPUC campus.
I thank the technical team for giving us a fantastic view of the campus. We have now reached the end of our program. I request Ms. Evelyn Apoorva from the Physics Department to propose the vote of thanks. A warm and graceful morning to all. To prepare divinely inspired, intellectually and emotionally empowered young men is the core dimension of St. Joseph's Pre-University College vision of education. Success is not a destination, but a journey believing in that victory belongs to the most persevering. While thanking the Almighty for His countless blessings, I am here to acknowledge the contribution of those who work really hard to make this orientation program happen. I am immensely grateful to our chief guest, Rev. Dr. Sunil Ranger SJ, who spared time from his busy schedule to grace the occasion. Today, we were fortunate to hear your thoughts and I sincerely hope that this will surely encourage us in our future events. I would also like to thank our respected principal, Rev. Father Melvin Lobo SJ, for being the motivation that helps us to do our best as always. We need constant solid support and timely monitoring in every aspect as we grow. I acknowledge the contribution of our Vice Principal, Mrs. Renuka Zakaria, and our Campus Minister, Rev. Father Wilson Benes SJ, who both are the pillars of strength. An event like this requires planning and meticulous attention to details. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by the Orientation Committee headed by Mr. Albert Anthony for being proactive in organizing today's program. I thank every member of the committee. I express my gratitude to Mr. Sudarshan for the welcome address. I also thank the interreligious team headed by Ms. Christina Jones and Ms. Shweta Joshi, coordinated by Ms. Smita Chako for the meaningful prayer. I am immensely thankful to Ms. Vivian Jennifer for her efforts in anchoring today's program. I would also like to thank the people who worked behind the scene to make this event happen. Mr. Vijay Sundar for all the background work and our technical support, Mr. Richard Leo. I also extend my appreciation to all the staff for their support in the institution of this event. Dear parents, it is your dream that makes us all walk the miles of difficult steps in a positive manner to reach our destination. Our sincere gratitude goes to all parents and well-wishers for being present here. To all the students, I would like to let you know that we value you and every moment that you stay in this temple of learning. Never give up until you achieve your dreams. Success is only for those who work hard and run till the end. So run your destination with strong determination. We wish you all the very best. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Evelyn. I request the audience to rise for the college anthem. Eternal beauty, a lifelong victor's worthy spoil. A thousand such are proudly gone before us to win and spread with our college renown. This house to spell with the voices, the chorus, and with her deeds and rich her crown. Faith and toil, conquerless alliance, wherein we clasp human hands unto God. His control, find me true self-reliance My hand in God's, what are the odds? My hand in God's, what are the odds? My hand in God's, evil's arms that hold in defiance Congratulations dear students on becoming part of the Josephite family. May this year bring new opportunities for learning and self-discovery. Thank you and have a wonderful day.
dear students a gentle reminder regarding the important announcements kindly write down these are the dates to be noted 19th september 2020 that is on saturday you will have orientation which is a classroom session between 10 am to 12 pm 21st september 2020 monday your regular cla online classes will begin the classes will be held between 2 pm to 4 pm on microsoft teams platform you will receive training in microsoft teams on 17th and 18th september 2020 that is on thursday and friday the training will be held from 2 pm to 3 pm what to do next after this orientation is over students you will have to log in to your admission portal using the username and password check which class and section you belong to and write it down also write down your microsoft teams username and password available in your admission portal go through the student guide on how to use microsoft teams and be familiar with it download microsoft teams application on your device mobile phone laptop desktop the device that you are going to use for attending the online classes after this you will have to log in into microsoft teams application using the username and password provided by the college and if required you may change your password students you will be trained on how to use microsoft teams this training you will receive on 17th and 18th of september how do we attend this training on 17th and 18th of September that is on Thursday and Friday log in to your microsoft teams at 1:45 pm using your microsoft teams username and password once you log in you will see various channels click on the channel that bears your the name of your class and section to join the meeting your class teacher will explain to you about how to use microsoft teams during the meeting and also provide you the time table for online classes students kindly note in case you have any grievances regarding microsoft teams or if you do not receive your microsoft teams username and password in your admission portal in that case you may send your grievances to the email address sjpuc online classes at yahoo.com you may also send your grievances to the whatsapp number 9538030839 between 9:30 am to 12:30 pm do not forget to mention your application number your name class and section when you send in these grievances kindly do not call the helplines regarding microsoft teams i repeat kindly do not call the helplines regarding microsoft teams thank you all the best